Hello fellow magic lovers, Golden here. Welcome to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. So I have a fun one for you today. It's an Enchantress deck. So what's the purpose of this deck? Basically, we're playing out enchantments, we're playing out enchantment creatures, we're playing out enchantment removal, enchantment card draw, uh, we're playing out planeswalkers that synergize with enchantments. As the sagas and other enchantments go to the graveyard, we have other cards, such as Ephemia the Cacophony, that synergizes with that effect. We can exile enchantments from our graveyard and flood the board with zombies. So this is one of the most pop or the strongest cards for that that synergizes where you can exile an enchantment and create one to two zombie a turn, especially in that mid game where you've already put some enchantments to your debt or to your uh, graveyard. And then we have Timurite Calls the Dead where you can do a very similar effect where you can exile a creature or enchantment card and again, create some zombies. These two go well together because at the end you gain life and you can scry which allows you to fix your next couple draws um, so that's one little synergistic effect there another one is calyx destiny's hand where you can look at the top four cards and obviously we're playing a very enchantment heavy deck that allows us to almost every time search and draw a card and in a plus effect um, think of it as kind of like a narset obviously not quite as strong as Narset, it's four mana and it doesn't have the static ability, but we can draw out enchantments from our deck with a plus ability instead of minus, but it does have other abilities as well. You can exile a target creature enchantment until an enchantment you control leaves the battlefield, which a lot of times you put it on an enchantment that you either want to leave the battlefield by if they're going to take something out, um, or you put it on something that is low priority to them and it forces them to use... Uh, enchantment removal on that if they even have it at all but otherwise it's a minus three effect that kills a creature and then the last one if you can get it to go off um, later in the game you've ticked it up you've been able to keep it alive and you can return all your enchantment cards from your graveyard if you if you have them left in your graveyard which honestly if you're getting to that point you probably are later in the game and you're going to have enchantments in your graveyard at that point and you return them all to the battlefield at once which is a big tempo swing that includes your um, your sagas, which then restart, and any creatures that you may have as well um, that were enchantment based as well. So, uh, powerful effect there. Synergizes really well with the deck, and on top of that, we have some other creatures, some more more top end heavy creatures that synergize with the deck, and just adds that late game finisher um, and that final push. Uh, the biggest one being Liliana, Dreadhorde General. Obviously, if you're creating a bunch of zombie creature tokens, which this synergizes with the other cards as well, but also if you have zombie creatures and you have other enchantments and stuff, uh, you can sacrifice two creatures fairly easily if you have those zombies, um, and it helps with removal. On top of that, the Vraska here works really well with the enchantments as well because you can plus two sacrifice a permanent usually you're going to sacrifice something like treacherous blessing so that synergizes well because you don't want it on the battlefield after you cast it anyways to draw an additional card off of that also so here's the deck on top of that we just have some removal stuff Myers grass for enchantment removal we have Kaya's wrath we have doom foretold which uh, we've played against doom foretold and it's a very powerful enchantment that can that has a lot of different uh, uses and a lot of different effects and um, uh, I put a cavalier of dawn in there as well um, I think it's a good top end and obviously allows you to recur enchantments from your graveyard if it does get removed but it, it sort of serves as another source of top end removal that leaves a creature behind and has some additional effects at the end as well. Uh, the sideboard is kind of spread out. Um, a lot of a different different enchantments, a lot of different different things. I, this can definitely be refined. Um, I think there's stuff in here that has very specific uses that probably don't need to be in here. Um, but something to play around with here. Um, I left it everything in here the way I saw it in the lists that I was looking up online. Um, a good mix of enchantments and just good removal and stuff for aggro based builds. But definitely something that I can refine here. Um, something to play around with. It gives you a lot of options being like this, but I kind of like to 
try to feel out the meta and make my sideboards kind of match up with what I'm seeing on the ladder. But um, I have a couple best of three games coming up for you. So hopefully you guys like both of the games and like and subscribe if you want to see more from the channel and enjoy the games. Thanks. See ya. The Wookiee and Saw. All right, we're going to play first. Oh, we got good mana. We don't have any early enchantments, though. But we do have the Scry. Um, two four-drop Planeswalkers. I'm going to keep it. Sometimes you don't want to be too picky. As long as we have the mana to get up to what we want, the Scry's can help us get to the cards that we need. So if we're against aggro, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Okay, it's blue. Get another scry land. With the Kaya. So, let's see if we're against. No? Okay, maybe Esper. Maybe just some Dimir discard. Going tapped. So it is Esper. Fortunately, keep a lot of land. Okay, that's good to get. Hopefully, he doesn't have another discard. Maybe it's possible. Okay, we continue to draw land, but we did at least get the Liana. So, we are so far not doing anything <laughs> that our deck is supposed to do. Or really anything at all. That doesn't do anything either. Um, what are the chances that he doesn't have a counter? Oh, okay. He doesn't have a counter. I'll take it. He, pro he probably has like a D-Spark. Or Murder... No? Alright, we might... Might be getting lucky. He might have this though. Dream Trawler. Ah, this is that's perfect. Okay. I don't need you to target it when I have that. That's perfect. Cool. All right. So we we get a little bit lucky. I think he doesn't have anything to deal with that. Okay, and he concedes. All right. So that was not how the deck is supposed to work, but turns out. This is a good card. All right, so. Looks like we're up against probably Esper Control or maybe some Esper Midrange. Obviously, Dream Trawler on the top end. Um, I'm going to put in Agonizing Remorse. Can help us hit their hand and deal with Dream Trawler early because that's that card, once it hits, is really hard to get rid of. Um, Kai's Wrath can also get rid of it, so I'm going to put another one of those in. Maybe going a little too hard. Doom Foretold actually does too. I'm going to take out the Oath of Kai's. Uh, he's probably running... Actually, no. I'm going to keep Oath of Kai in and take Myers Grasp out. Might probably has some Teferis in there. Probably has... This can hit the Dream Trawler, but honestly, if it gets to the point where you have to target it with spells, you've probably lost. So I'm going to take them all out. This could be a mistake, especially if he's running cards that I'm not expecting, but I am going to take them all out. Uh, is there anything I'm forgetting to put in here that can help us? Nah. Nah. Take out one of the Cavaliers, because I'm sure he has a lot of cards that can deal with it. It's kind of a luxury to have into this deck, but it's it's very good. It's, it balances out some of the other game plan. 
it's just a it's a high end threat that if you can't kind of get the enchantments rolling it's just another high threat so especially in the game one i like having it in there sometimes you take it out if if you're against something's too aggressive or something that can deal with it easily so especially with exile cards like d spark all right so unfortunately we have a one lander and we're not going to keep that that's a little bit better with the lands we also have treacherous blessing to help us draw murderous rider for removal Kai's Wrath, just because it's Kai's Wrath. It's a good keep. Um, we are going to dump. I'm going to dump, dump the Cavalier. The mana cost is too hard. We only have one white mana in our hand right now. I think it's too risky to keep it, especially when... The chances of it really resolving and staying on the board aren't that good anyways, so it goes to the bottom. Let's see what he decides to take here. Okay, he does take Doom Foretold. Well... See if he has another discard effect and takes Doom Foretold again. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna drop this. Yeah. I'm gonna drop the swamp and hold open Murderous Rider, even though he knows we have it. I want to play into a counter. Okay. I will play into the counter this turn. with Treacherous Blessing. Try to get it out of his hand for Doom Foretold. All right, he doesn't have it, that's good. Hopefully that he's not running many counters. Perfect. Let's get the scry. Make sure I don't, I'm not missing any mana cost now. That's good. I mean, I don't have Kai's Wrath, but I have the planes in hand, so it's fine. I have land drops next two turns. I don't need that one. Okay, I will go. We're just gonna go in. This leaves open Murderous Rider. And with this we can start to get a little bit of a board presence. Put a little bit of pressure on. Force some cards out of his hand. Okay, so I could hold open a Murderous Rider if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to drop it on the board. I want to get something going. Okay. Give him a card. Get rid of that. That actually gives me some fodder for Doom Foretold if I need to use it. Um, yeah. Just keep going in on the board. Not that worried about my life total right now, so... 
try to try to get some board presence, get some pressure. We haven't really comboed off too well yet. Unfortunately, well, no, if he drops um, Dream Trawler, we can drop Doom Foretold and he'll be forced to sacrifice it. No, he just blows everything up. Fortunately, we don't have much. I'm keeping this just for Dream Trawler, even though I have the Kai's Wrath. And this does do something. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Let's just let's get some stuff back. So we have the Kai's Wrath for Dream Trawler, so that can take it out. So I'm not that worried about it. All right, we get a card. It does a thing. There's the my, the, my dreamy boy. Goodbye. I said goodbye. That card is very OP unless <laughs> you have a ton of board clears. Then it's expensive removal, but totally worth it on a six drop. As strong. Oh, there's another one. And you know what I have to say to that? Goodbye. Goodbye, number two. Start churning out some zombos. We'll get rid of one doom foretold. I dropped the card that he knows about. The land wasn't that big of a deal, but I dropped the one that he knows about so that he might use some discard on this. Dream Trawler number three. Even I am not that lucky. Oh. That's a lot of cards he just drew. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're just gonna go in and hope to the high heavens that he didn't draw a sweeper in all those cards. I mean, he has a lot of cards, though. That was a that was a good draw for him. To draw six cards like that. Uh. I just I need something. A card that's worth. Okay. Gets rid of the tomb. Okay, so it looks like he had... I'm not sure what he's kind of working with right now. I'm going to hold open the Murderous Rider. I'm just going to ping him down a little. So he, he has to deal with our stuff. I'm going to... Might as well drop that now. Drawn cards. Two, four, six. Two, two, four, six, eight. 
If he Dream Trawlers, I will Murderous Rider, force him to tap it out. Um, but he might have a counter to stop it. Okay. Alright. We're in good shape. We might we might be able to finish this off. And we finished it off. Oh, that's Ashiok. That's fine. That doesn't do anything. Perfect. Take that out. And we take it. Alright. Alright, we take it against Esper. It's good showing. Esper's a good deck. Tedu. Alright, so play first. Alright, that's good. That's a good start. We have a little bit of ramp, some strong cards up top, so that's a that's a keeper right there. Start out tap with the tomb, get my green mana in there, and then uh We'll go Miletus, 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 turn two. Opponent decides to mulligan. Okay, he mulliganed to six. Took a while to decide. He must have had a lot of good stuff, but only like one land or two good stuffs and many lands. Thin our deck out of some planes. Unless we draw something good, we're going to go and tap with the Godless Shrine. And then hopefully turn four, we can get Vraska down unimpeded. Um, we see black, so I'm thinking discard at some point. Agonizing Remorse. Saltai. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna treacherous blessing. Get some cards. Give us some more tools to deal with this stuff. We're actually gonna get rid of the Scryland. I'm not that worried about damage, but I need to get something going. This isn't a matchup that I I'm not really sure how this goes. I didn't get off to a very um, aggressive start, but I do have these Elspeth Conquers Death, which are good. Okay. Let's Beast beasts, okay. Pay for that. Drop Frasca. Gonna get rid of the love struck beast. Next turn, we do have Elspeth Conquers Death, so even if he just finds a way to take Vraska out, we're not in bad shape. We're gonna use Vraska to get rid of Treacherous Blessing so that we don't keep taking damage from it. This deck does have a lot of things that sacrifice with Doom Foretold, uh, Vraska Golgari Queen that allow us to get rid of this, which synergizes as well. Let's see what we, what we draw. Other land, all right, so we're gonna use the temple to scry. We don't need Elspeth Conquer's death right now. We don't really have anything to bring back with it, so I'm gonna save it for the removal. Um, and just gonna use Othakai to take out one of these Leap Kindruins. Scry with the temple. Get that out of here. So he's a 4 4 Krasis right now. Could also have a Nissa. This wouldn't be that bad. He's gonna he'd make the land. I'd block it out with the zero oh, four. The ping that oh casualty of war. That is bad. 
Um, I mean, yeah. Hits is hits one mana. It's that's not worth it. Uh, I'm just gonna drop this to start re the recursion of Braska. Seems like a waste, but it's really not. I'm gonna keep Kai's Wrath open in case he drops like a Hydroid Crisis this turn. Okay, Cavalier of Thorns. Again, also good. What does he have? I mean, he can bring the Casualties of War back uh, for Kai's Wrath, so I'm gonna hit that with Elspeth Conquer's Death, which will exile it and he won't get the trigger. Okay, so even if he takes out one of these, I still get Rask. Oh, he has another Cavalier. That's unfortunate. I'm good at what I do. And what I do is win. Alright, I'm going to Kai's Wrath and see what he does. See what he decides to bring. Probably another Cavalier. Does he have, a, does he have the other one in there? Yeah, he does. He was able to find another one. Could also bring up... The Casualties of War. That's actually... That's actually not bad. I mean, he takes out both of these, but... It could have it could have been a lot worse. So this is going off. No, so he'll casual of war take out all of this. We drop treacherous blessing and draw, and then we're gonna use Okay. Use her ability to sacrifice it. Okay, we get Doom Foretold. That's good. That can deal with something. And we have the Cavalier Dawn. I'm actually going to go with... I'm going to do this first. A more treacherous blessing. All right, so depending on what he does this turn, all right, cool. So we Calyx. of the stars perfect all right it was enough ran him out of his answers dealt with dealt with his cards luckily for us he doesn't draw into nissa but we had answers for nissa anyway so uh casualties of war good in the mirror to have casualties of war against that deck as well as his is good against us too, but uh, we'll keep that in there. Agonizing Remorse, we can hit his important cards. That's really it. Um, take out the Myers Grasp. Okay, let's see. That's really good. I'm not thinking about taking that. I'm just hovering over it. Don't you worry. Okay. Kyra's Wrath was... Could have been good there. 
with his to get his mana dorks. I, I, I don't want to not. I don't want to take it out. All right, I'm gonna take out Othakai. Not sure what he's gonna put in here, but Othakai is good against his early ramp. But I don't want to take out some of the stronger cards. All right, this this would be good if I could get more mana, but unfortunately I have to get rid of that. This would be good if I had less mana. I'm gonna keep it though. So uh, I'm gonna get rid of one of the. Yeah, one of the overgrown tombs. Keep the scry lands. We have all the colors that we need. Fortunately, um, eh, we're pretty close. I'm going to draw it. We, we just need one more white mana to be able to cast it on five. And up till five, we have a pretty good curve. So we can do... Um, Psych. See if he takes Calyx or Agonizing Remorse. Okay, he must have something in his hand that he wants to con preserve. Or just a hundred more discard cards. One of those two things. Put this down. Fortunately, we don't have any um, enchantments just yet, but Calyx can help with that if we get a chance to cast it. Okay, the beast goes down. The scry. We have all the mana we need. We're gonna keep that. All right, he absolutely has a counter here. There is. There has to be a 0% chance that he doesn't, so I'm just going to enter this tapped. He knows we have. I'm under pressure. I'm going to try to hit the Murderous Rider, but I'd rather him counter it on his turn and use his mana up so that I can drop the Cavalier next turn, hit the Lovestruck Beast, and hopefully, I mean... That's, that's, he got off to an aggressive start against something we didn't really have very much of an aggressive start. Alright, um, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna try to, uh, doesn't really matter, he's getting both of them anyway, so I might as well try to do that now. Okay, he does, doesn't have a counter, so I guess I was being a wuss, I should have dropped Calyx last turn. He's taking care of him right now, but I do have the Cavalier. So he, he drops something. Get the Cavalier down. Ah, uh, he had a counter, just not the one I thought. Well, that sucks. Well, that doesn't. All hail Liliana. And that's a good draw for that. Oh, yeah, the Duff Man up. That's poop. Crap. Alright, so it's a pretty aggressive version of this deck. Um, he surprised he was running shifting Ceratops. I guess he's just trying to go aggressive. Alright. I'm gonna put... Um, something to deal with the early aggression. I guess I 
take out uh, one cavalier. Take out one treacherous blessing, and we're gonna put in two Kaya's wrath, or oath of Kaya, rather. Run like this. Yeah, that, I mean. This is kind of everything that we're working to accomplish, right? So we have Birth of Melitis early. It'll help us make sure we get to our lands. We have the Ephemia, the Cacophony, Cacophony. Cacophony. Again with the early Lovestruck Beast. I'm actually gonna put this down now and start uh, pressured him before. The next turn, we can put this down. Two love struck beasts. Okay, so we get the 0-4 blocker. We also get Vraska next turn, which takes that out. Unfortunately, I mean, we can leave it back. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I have Elspeth anyways. I only pick the day is yours. So I can leave this back to protect Vraska. Or I can just give up Vraska to do a little bit more damage. I think I'm just going to leave it back. We have another one in hand anyways. And it's it'll be something we can discard to actually get better use of this. Okay, so we go down with both of these. Temple Garden tapped. Start making some zombies. Okay, so he puts down his fifth mana. So let's see what he does with it. If he decides to just put down Lovestruck Beast and maybe another creature if he goes with a five mana card questing beast okay elspeth we can take that out and a second one too so that's perfect so we're gonna put down elspeth conquers death take out the questing beast drop the planes get in for a little bit more damage create another zombie Okay, so that's good. Othakaya. Okay, we're gonna get. We could just take the Voracious Hydra out, but could also take the Love Struck Beast out. But I'm gonna save Elspeth for a better card. We have Vraska, we can bring back to take it out later. We're gonna put down Calyx this turn. future appears before me. Ok, 
Okay, Ceratops goes down. Still surprised by the choice to put Cer Ceratops in there. I guess it's just to be more aggressive, but I mean, realistically, the protection. It's gonna give it trample, I guess, but yeah. Okay, we take it. All right. All right, a couple solid games with this deck. Uh, it feels good, it's fun to play. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, I, th I like the idea of um, recurring the enchantments. This deck definitely, I think, could use some refining. I think there's things about it that can, can make it even better. Um, but I like it so far. And if you have any ideas for the deck, put it in the comments below. Again, I love to hear about all the different deck ideas that you have, any questions that you have for me, anything you think you wanna try after I played this deck for a little bit that you uh, think would work better, how you think it would work. Definitely love to hear that, stick in the comment section. Um, and then if you wanna see more, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, helps me out a lot, helps the channel visibility a lot, trying to grow the, the channel, make it bigger, reach more people. So uh, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate the time and uh, have a good day.